If you like me enjoy to make videos, you know that half the fun is the editing. But buying a computer for the job, well, that's not fun at all. If you're not sure what type of computer to get, you probably check the internet. There people will tell you that you need at least 1 million gigabytes of RAM, a processor big enough to handle a Star Destroyer and a graphic card that will deliver a picture so crisp that it burns your eyes out. Even though it would be nice, I don't think you need all that. All my videos prior to the last one about the Nokia display have been made with this. Say hello to my MacBook Pro, mid-2009 with a 2.26 GHz Core 2 Duo and only 2 RAMs. When I've had it for a while, I installed 8 RAMs that I bought for 60 bucks and it basically did no difference at all. So this is what I would say you need, this and some patience. But now I'm ready to buy something that's above need, something nice. I looked around and I found these. The iMac, a marvelous design, a big beautiful 27 inch screen and plenty of space on the hard drive. And then there is the MacBook Pro. What it lacks in screen size it gains with its lightning fast Intel i7 processor. The Asus ET2300, futuristic and with a big touchscreen display which would enable me to work for instance in After Effects with a stylus. The problem is that I want all the good stuff, and I only have $1408. So this is what I did. First I bought a 27 inch LED screen. There are numerous to choose from, but I settled for the BenQ GW 2750. It's nothing special, but it will get the job done, and it only cost me $239. Next you will need a mouse and a keyboard. I already had a pair laying around, but if you don't, they sell them for as little as 10 bucks. So I wanted the i7 processor, the 8 RAMs and a big hard drive, all in a sleek design. Let me introduce the Mac Mini. It has almost all that, lots of ports, an SD card slot and it only costs $7.89. I took the 8GB of RAM out of my old MacBook, but if you can't you can buy it new for 60 bucks, or if you add just a little bit more you can buy 16. The built-in speakers in the Mac or the screen will have to do, but most of you probably have some headphones lying around or some other type of sound system. I will be using my Nokia JBL speaker or my Nokia Purity Pros by Monster. The only thing left that I wanted was to be able to work with the stylus. And for that I got this. This is the Wacom Intuos 5. I've worked with one of these before and it is spectacular. I don't feel the need for a touch function and therefore I saved a couple of bucks by buying the pen only version. I'm planning on doing a demo video about how it's useful in video editing in the near future. That is my new editing station. If you have any questions about it or anything else for that matter, I will answer in the comment section. Please check out my other videos as well.